start Local 4 News at 6 with breaking news from Highland Park, where three bodies have been found inside an apartment building. Jacqueline Francis is live. Jacqueline, this may be connected to the search for those three rappers who disappeared almost two weeks ago, right? Yeah, we're getting more information by the minute here. You can see it's still a very active scene. We've got the main crime scene over here, but first I want to start with two state police troopers. They're right there talking with a gentleman on the scene here. You can look over here, and this is where the police tape is. Police sources say they believe the bodies found are those of the missing rappers. We've also learned that police have reached out to the mother of one of those missing rappers to alert her of the discovery of the bodies. The three rappers have been missing since January 21st. They they were supposed to perform at a Detroit club, but the performance was canceled. That's when they disappeared. We've been reporting on this all week. And again, it was just this evening that we found out that three bodies were discovered in an abandoned apartment building. And police sources are telling us that they believe those bodies are those of the missing rappers. Again, still a very active scene. Michigan State Police is assisting DPD on this investigation, and they recently uh, just tweeted out that they're waiting on, on getting a search warrant so that they can go in and search the, uh, the abandoned apartment building. So again, you can see new information developing pretty much every minute here. We'll stay on. One is closed for the weekend, according to a source with knowledge of the facility who says the closure is out of respect for the three rappers who were slated to perform there two weeks ago, but vanished until their bodies were discovered inside the basement of this abandoned Highland Park apartment complex Thursday. The medical examiner confirming the remains as belonging to Armani Kelly Montoya Givens and Dante Wicker, the missing musicians. Armani's mother speaking with Fox 2 earlier this week during the search for her son and fearing the worst. I'm not going to say I think, no, my gut, my heart, he's gone. As much as I love him, and I want him to be okay. Now, big questions facing detectives, including investigating whether the booking of the performance at the lounge was nothing more than a setup targeting one of the men, according to what one of their family members told Fox 2 exclusively Thursday night. Detroit police are looking at that theory and have not confirmed whether that's the case. Anytime you have this type of case, the police are very, very connected. Warren works with Detroit, with the state police, uh, police in Tennessee, perhaps, maybe the feds, FBI, whatever. Attorney and Fox 2 reporter Charlie Langton says lawyers in the legal system are striving to get the facts right, including the circumstances surrounding the murders. And the only people that we know now, the major people would be the two people that would be in custody. We understand that there's one person in Knoxville, Tennessee. That person is arrested for some reason. We have to figure that out. There's also someone in Macomb County, a young person, a teenager, a juvenile who is being held for stealing a car, but it happened to be the car that these rappers may have used. That may not be enough, but it may be something to go on. The men had been missing since January 21st. Police say Kelly, a rapper on the rise from Oscoda, was scheduled to play Lounge 31 on the east side, but a source at the lounge said that the show was canceled due to an issue with the DJ. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, and first and foremost, I want to say condolences to the entire family of Armani Kelly. His mother has been very vocal about this situation since he went missing. I've been seeing her on the news and everything, and she was holding on to that last bit of hope. And it's now been officially confirmed that her son was identified. And also, Montoya Gibbons and Dante Wicker, they entire families, man, uh, no matter what the situation is, they had to get that news to confirm that the person that they love has been missing was found in this abandoned apartment building in the Detroit area. And I'm at a link in the description where you can read the full write-up and watch the videos of the news and everything. And I'm gonna get into some key parts in the write-up in just a second. Now they finna launch a full investigation. This story that garnered and, and gained national attention because three missing grown men at one time, then it's tied into rap, a concert that was canceled. The whole situation just looks crazy. His mother had actually went to my understanding on the news uh, interview she did and found the car, which was her car, that was stolen. She was able to track it. It was changing different locations. She said the keys were there with it, and she says she don't feel her son would just actually 
leave the keys in the car or give her keys to somebody else. So all of these things just been trickling and going on and how everything played out. But they eventually was able to get back and find the bodies and then they identified her, man. And it's been getting talked about by everybody. Now they do have some people in custody and they've been talking to some people. They had talked about on the news also this instance, uh, Instagram Live or Facebook Live, whichever one it was, where they had some guys that he was talking to on there. I don't know what the conversation was exactly about. They didn't put this together. They just got all type of theories going on now, but they have some people in custody and it says this. Warren police broke the case open last week with the arrest and charges against the 15 year old who was in possession of our money Kelly's SUV. He's been charged for that and having burglary tools on him remanded to custody. That investigation led Detroit police to the murder scene Thursday where the bodies were found. Sources tell Fox 2 Friday morning a man was arrested in Knoxville. Meanwhile, another man was brought into custody in the last week here in Detroit for questioning. MSP detectives spent the better part of Friday removing evidence from the apartment building where the young men were found. And the police have actually said that they have some more news that they're going to break on Monday in this story. And I'm going to tell y'all like this, bro. In our community, our people, the taking of each other's lives over disagreements, arguments, or just getting to the point on either side where somebody feel like they got to take somebody's life, bro. We got to work on the communication and get an understanding, dog. Because things like this, no matter what happened. We shouldn't be having to have brothers missing, dumped in buildings and things like that. I understand the lifestyle or that goes on in the community or the underworld, the streets, the dark side of the community. I get it. But at the same time, bro, we got to start valuing ourselves better than this, bro. Because this is the agenda that has been pushed upon our people. This is the narrative upon our people that we are savages, animals, demons, and we do stuff like that. And they want to make us the face of that. This is really a human thing that goes on at times in everybody community. I just hate to see my own kind, my own people, whether you black, cause it was two brothers involved, uh, Hispanic, Latin, whatever, man. Let's do better than this, bro. It's part of the hip hop community. We got to stop this type of stuff. Underground rappers, mainstream rappers, coming up rappers, bro. We got to stop this type of energy, bro, all around with our people. Tell me what y'all think, man. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.